All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I did say that I'm gonna start trying to bring out some videos. Um, while I'm setting up my podcast studio setup, um, I'm gonna be trying to interview people. Um, I've got a few plans, so it is gonna take time, but I'm definitely gonna try and just at least tick over this YouTube so you can see that I'm growing from right now. I'm in just a regular, I'm in nowhere. Like I'm actually like pretty much nearly in the toilet because I'm struggling to find room to do this. But it gives me something to talk about and at least something for you to watch while I build this um, uh, this platform. Would you say? Okay. First thing, podcasts, interviewing guests. So if you do have any guests that you'd like me to interview, I know that obviously I'm a Perth boy, so Perth's situation is smaller than the whole of Australia, obviously, but if there's anyone that you would like me to interview uh, and speak to, write in the comments, tag them maybe, uh, that's that's definitely going to happen. Um, and I'm, I've already got some guests that I want to line up off my own back. Um, secondly, as I said, we're going to talk about Survivor. Um, I, that's what I'll probably talk about right now because um, one, um, well, it's just, it's an easy topic. All right, and, and I feel like we need to start talking about who's playing this bloody show. We've got it coming up in, well, what's 25 days. I think the 31st is the first episode. Um, and we have Sandra Diaz We're from America. Now, if you haven't watched Survivor much, American Survivor, and you've only tuned in through Australian Survivor and followed me through that, well, then you don't know who this woman is. All right, so Sandra is the second um, uh, returnee for an American season. I don't think her daughter's played. She is coming on with her daughter. And uh, I do feel that she is an amazing player. Um, I know over the years, you know, there's been even times I've gone, ah, you know, maybe not. But the more I've watched and the more I've spoke to her and stuff like that is I always have a very much appreciation on how much uh, people return calls, um, speak about the show, and I actually feel like Sandra, I've, I kind of was a little bit thinking that she wasn't, uh, she shouldn't be rated as, as good as she was, even though she won twice, it just, I don't know, the physical side of the show always, you know, has been a big um, aspect to me, but I've changed my mind, especially over the last years, I actually think that she is cutthroat. Like, we've seen the trailer now, and the trailer shows that she has said that she is willing to kick her own daughter's ass to remind her who the queen is. So if she's going to kick her own daughter's ass, I can imagine what she, how, like, much care in the world she will have for any Australian players in the game. I think she has a lot of love for Australia because I think that for her to just come and leave the American soil and come over to Australia and do what Russell did, even though Russell only lasted two episodes, he, well, he found an idol in the first episode and he's obviously a big game player. So he came in, tried to wear the idol over his neck. He did stuff more stuff in two episodes of Australian Survivor than some players have done the whole game. Okay, so respect to both those guys. To the guys that haven't given Australia a crack or, you know, don't really liaise with Australia too much from America, well, you're going to get a reality check because we have an amazing group of people over here and Survivor fans and Survivor family that I feel like our, our, you know, what would you call it? Like fan base is growing, growing, and it's growing around the world. Uh, the more I read and the more I see, it's just Australian Survivors, um, just for entertainment value, uh, player value, uh, we come and we give it hell. Uh, so I'm looking forward to Sandra. Now, do I think that Sandra or her daughter will win it? Well, why not? Why the hell not? Because I feel like Sandra is, people are going to want to work with her. 
Why wouldn't you? If Boston Rob or if Tony came over, I'm telling you right now, I'll be working with it. So do I see an early boot like maybe um, like Russell? Maybe, maybe not. But Russell was a bit more abrasive. And I think it's kind of like the situation, what happens is with Russell is people uh, don't get along with him as much. There will be a small, like his social situation game is uh, never been one of strength. You know, it's it's been one where if he likes you, he likes you. If he doesn't, he thinks you're, you're a dickhead pretty much. So... I am um, looking forward to seeing Sandra. I think that they've done an amazing well. And you know what? Just because I have, I did, um, I think I did reach out to, you know, um, see if Boss and Rob wanted to play. Um, you know, there was no real traction there. He didn't really want it, but it looks like Sandra does. So for me, that means that Sandra is better. Sandra is at this age. She's willing to go to the bloody outback and battle in the dirt, in the dust. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, she's probably getting paid. But if you were getting paid, would you go out and do the show alone? Would you go out and do Naked and Afraid? There's a lot of people in this world that wouldn't. You know, so for her now to play one, two, three, four times and then to come over to the Australian heat, the Australian outback and risk, you know, they always talk about legacy, you know, screw legacy. Like, in the end, what I believe is if you decide to put your name in the hat and just risk it, just like a boxer going in there and fighting and losing, it doesn't matter. You've gone in there, you're going to have a crack. Don't get me wrong, her last thing, she she decided to bail, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I still probably don't like that. She decided that she wouldn't win on the return when she, she got eliminated from the game. There was this island... Uh, uh, people that um, haven't watched wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But she decided that there was no way for her to win um, the challenge, even though she didn't see the challenge and decided to go home. So the 50-day format, will she want to quit? I don't think so. Will she want to, you know, try her best and, and, and prove to her daughter and try to pass the torch to her daughter? Yeah. You know, we, th- we think about it like this, right? When every time we've sit there and watch a rugby player, or even, all right, so footy, AFL, we're we're in Australia, so you've got Gary Ablett Sr., all right, so Gary Ablett Sr., we know the God, played for Geelong, the best player, then his son comes through, Gary Ablett Jr. came through, and he's a superstar, just like his dad, played for Geelong, He's the man, and this is what we're seeing. We're seeing Sandra potentially passing the torch to her daughter. It's big survivor news. This is huge. Imagine, like, I've got Nate and Lennox. You know, I've got Lennox, my eldest son, he's a mathematician. Can you imagine if all of a sudden, you know, 20 years' time, he's going out and playing survivor? Like, this is just as big... For Sandra to come and play in Australia, but just as big to pass the torch to her daughter. And for all of Australia and all of the world to see her daughter play Survivor and see if she's got the tenacity, the the cutthroat game as her mother. Or is she going to be more emotional? Are we going to see, you know, um, glimmers of uh, Sandra's personality in her daughter? I'm looking forward to this so much. And that's just Sandra. I haven't even broke down the other players. Like, I can't wait. I want to talk a bit more about Mark. I still want to talk about Sam. We have the first Australian Survivor couple that have had a baby that met on Survivor. How does that even happen? Like, maybe I can even start putting condoms in um, in your in your bag when you um, go on Survivor. I don't know. But... Uh, I think it's beautiful. I think it's a great story. I can't wait. They're good friends, and um, I hope they do well. Um, but anyways, it's a 10-minute video. I end up talking about Survivor. I'm probably going to keep talking it while I set up this studio where I can interview people who are separate of Survivor. I've got big plans, but I just want to keep bringing out content for you guys because... Well, shit, I can't start a YouTube channel and not put anything out, so yeah.
Anyways, much love. King of Jungle. Actually, I'm going to break away. Luke Togi. Peace.